Hey, hi, Angel here. Thanks for stopping by. In my endeavors to help us overcome our limiting beliefs and become our best selves and create uh, lives we love, I've been thinking a lot about balance. And over and over again, I come back to this conclusion that there's not just one way. There are as many different ways of living a great life as there are different people. And there are many different ways of feeling balanced. And what's balanced for one person isn't necessarily going to feel balanced to the rest of us and, uh, and vice versa. So I think it's vice versa, whatever. You can't rely on what works for everybody else or even one other person to be sure what's going to work for you when it comes to balance or anything else in life. So I think it's really important to consider and routinely reconsider what's balanced to you, what feels like a good balanced life from your perspective right now, right here. What, you know, when I was raising my son when he was young, as opposed to now that he's uh, 22 years old, grown up, and I'm just trying to be a, a good support system from further away, very different orientation, very different goals as far as uh, what is a balanced day-to-day -day for me. Back when he was an infant, it was a balanced day was, you know, me getting a little sleep and him eating and digesting properly. And now it's me earning a good living and trying to demonstrate how to love myself as an adult. So uh, very different day-to-day -day routines, same goal of living a balanced life for me. And, and I think uh, it's important to remember that it's okay to be imbalanced. It's not just okay. It's normal. It's to be expected that, that you're going to get in balance and then you're going to get back out of balance and you're going to have to do things to bring yourself back in balance. And it won't necessarily always be the same things. Now, for some of us, life stays uh, more stable or steady than for others of us. So maybe what worked for you last year works great this year, in which case, great. You know, I, I do think there's a lot to be said for balancing on the level of, you know, time I spend on my body, time I phys spend being physical, time I spend being mental, time I spend being uh, quiet. I was going to say spiritual, but, you know, just listening to the universe, finding a balance in that. And, and that's another good point that just came to mind is that uh, there's different lenses you can look at that balance through and at different times different lenses are going to serve us better but I think it's a great idea to to look at how balanced is my life at every every time you look at that I think it's a good idea to look at it through more than one lens because that'll really help help you maybe see something that you wouldn't have seen through one lens you're going to see through another like am I balancing my my work time and my family time am I balancing my my lower chakra time and my higher chakra time am I balancing my uh you know how am I balancing all of it it's my two cents for today I hope you're living well living balanced to next time peace prosperity positivity and progress